Have you ever felt like there's a deeper purpose to your existence, like you're meant for something extraordinary? If so, you're not alone. Today, we're unlocking the secrets of the most important karma law that chosen ones must never violate. This is the key to unlocking your highest potential and aligning with your true path. Have you ever wondered the reason you've been suffering? I have some news for you. You may not be aware of it, but there's a crucial mistake you've been making. You've been paying for other people's mistakes, and it's important for you to recognize it. Karma is a fundamental concept in Buddhism that refers to the law of cause and effect. It teaches that every action, thought, and intention we have influences our future. According to this belief, karma is not just a philosophical idea, but a truth that governs the universe and our place within it. In simple terms, karma means that what we do now affects what happens to us later. If we act with kindness and compassion, we are likely to experience positive outcomes in the future. Conversely, if our actions are harmful or selfish, negative consequences will follow. This principle is central to understanding how our behavior shapes our destiny. Karma emphasizes personal responsibility. It reminds us that we are accountable for our actions and their outcomes. This accountability extends to our thoughts and intentions, not just our physical actions. Our inner life, including our emotions and attitudes, plays a crucial role in creating our karmic path. By cultivating positive thoughts and intentions, we can influence our future in a favorable way. The significance of karma extends beyond individual lives. It affects the collective experience of communities and even the entire world. When people engage in positive actions, it creates a ripple effect that benefits others, promoting harmony and well-being. On the other hand, negative actions can lead to suffering and discord, affecting not just the doer, but also those around them. But that's just the surface of it. What you may not know is that there's a rule you must not break. Keep watching to find out what it is. Karma operates as a silent witness, meticulously recording every thought and action we make. This principle underscores the precision with which our choices influence our lives. Each decision, whether significant or trivial, contributes to the tapestry of our existence, reflecting the cumulative impact of our behaviors. Every action we take, every word we speak, every thought we harbor leaves an imprint on our karmic record. Unlike human memory, which can be selective and fallible, karma's record is unerring and comprehensive. It captures the essence of our intentions and the true nature of our actions, regardless of whether they are visible to others or hidden within our minds. This precise recording process highlights the dynamic nature of karma. Our lives are not static, they are continually shaped and reshaped by our choices. Just as a river's path is altered by the stones and debris it encounters, our life's journey is influenced by the accumulation of our deeds. Positive actions and thoughts steer us towards favorable outcomes while negative ones can lead us astray. Understanding the silent witness of karma also emphasizes personal accountability. It reminds us that nothing goes unnoticed or unaccounted for in the grand scheme of existence. This awareness can inspire us to be more mindful of our actions and thoughts, knowing that they have a lasting impact on our life's path. Understanding the importance of discerning our own responsibilities is crucial when it comes to karma. Each individual carries their own karmic load, which is shaped by their thoughts, actions, and decisions. Taking on the burden of others' karma is not only unnecessary but can also be detrimental to our own spiritual progress. Karma operates on the principle that every person must face the consequences of their own actions. When we try to take on someone else's karma, we interfere with this natural process. It is important to recognize that everyone must experience the results of their own actions. This is not about being indifferent or uncaring. Rather, it is about understanding the fundamental law that governs our existence. Attempting to absorb or mitigate the karma of others disrupts the balance that karma seeks to maintain. Those who are going through difficult times are facing the outcomes of their own past actions. 
Intervening in this process doesn't help them learn and grow from their experiences. Trying to take on others' karma can lead to unnecessary stress and imbalance in our own lives. We may feel overwhelmed and drained by the emotional and spiritual weight of problems that are not ours to bear. This can hinder our own growth and prevent us from focusing on our personal journey. It's essential to maintain a clear boundary between our responsibilities and those of others. Taking on others' karma can significantly disrupt our spiritual journey and create imbalance in our lives. When we assume the karmic responsibilities of others, we interfere with their natural process of learning and growth. Each person's karma is intricately tied to their actions, decisions, and experiences. By taking on their karma, we not only hinder their progress but also jeopardize our own spiritual well-being. One of the main risks of assuming others' karma is the creation of personal stress. Carrying someone else's burdens can be emotionally and spiritually exhausting. We might find ourselves overwhelmed by problems and challenges that are not ours to solve. This added stress can divert our focus from our own path, causing confusion and disruption in our spiritual journey. The energy and effort we spend dealing with others' karma can prevent us from addressing our own issues and responsibilities. Additionally, we may not fully understand the extent of what someone else has done. Each person's karma is unique and complex, shaped by their actions over time. By assuming their karma, we might unknowingly take on negative consequences that we are not prepared to handle. This can lead to further complications and setbacks in our own life. It is essential to recognize that we are not equipped to manage the full scope of someone else's karmic journey. Safeguarding our personal energy is crucial for spiritual progress and overall well-being. One of the most effective ways to do this is by setting boundaries. Boundaries are not rigid walls meant to isolate us. Rather, they are filters that allow us to interact with the world empathetically without becoming overwhelmed. Setting boundaries helps us protect our energy, maintain focus on our personal growth, and engage with others in a healthy manner. Personal energy is the life force that drives our actions, thoughts, and emotions. When we allow others to drain this energy, we compromise our ability to function optimally. Setting boundaries ensures that we keep this energy intact, enabling us to nurture our own well-being. This doesn't mean we become selfish or unkind. Instead, we learn to give and receive in ways that are sustainable and balanced. One important aspect of safeguarding personal energy is recognizing when to say no. It can be challenging to refuse requests or demands from others, especially when we want to help. However, constantly putting others' needs before our own can lead to burnout and resentment. By learning to say no when necessary, we preserve our energy for what truly matters, including our self-care and personal development. Cultivating good karma involves practicing mindful living and making conscious choices that contribute positively to our lives and the lives of others. By understanding that our actions, thoughts, and words have consequences, we can make deliberate efforts to generate positive karma. This not only benefits us but also creates a ripple effect of positivity in the world. Mindful living is the foundation of cultivating good karma. It means being aware of our actions and their impact on ourselves and others. By living mindfully, we can make choices that align with our values and promote kindness, compassion, and respect. This approach encourages us to be present in the moment, to think before we act, and to consider the long-term effects of our behavior. One practical way to cultivate good karma is through acts of kindness. Simple gestures like helping a neighbor, donating to charity, or offering a kind word can have a significant impact. These actions don't need to be grand or elaborate. Even small acts of kindness can contribute to positive karma. The key is to perform these actions with genuine intent, without expecting anything in return. Volunteering is another powerful way to generate good karma. By giving our time and effort to help others, we contribute to the well-being of our community. 
Volunteering not only benefits those in need but also enriches our own lives, providing a sense of purpose and fulfillment. It connects us to others and reminds us of the importance of compassion and empathy. Transforming negative karma involves recognizing past actions and consciously making positive changes to counterbalance their effects. This process requires intentional efforts and a commitment to growth and improvement. While negative karma results from harmful actions or thoughts, it can be mitigated through deliberate positive actions and intentions. The first step in transforming negative karma is self-awareness. Acknowledging our past mistakes and understanding their consequences is crucial. This involves honest self-reflection and a willingness to take responsibility for our actions. By recognizing the negative karma we have generated, we open the door to making amends and creating positive change. Deliberate positive actions are powerful tools for transforming negative karma. Acts of kindness, generosity, and compassion can counterbalance the effects of previous harmful actions. For instance, helping others in need, volunteering, and practicing forgiveness can generate positive karma. These actions should be carried out with genuine intent, focusing on the well-being of others rather than expecting immediate rewards. Positive intentions are equally important. Our thoughts and attitudes shape our karma just as much as our actions. Cultivating a positive mindset involves letting go of anger, resentment, and negative thoughts. Instead, we should focus on love, compassion, and understanding. Meditation and mindfulness practices can help us develop a positive mental state, which in turn influences our actions and karma. Karma affects not just our immediate lives but also the broader universe. The law of karma emphasizes that our actions, thoughts, and intentions have far-reaching consequences that extend beyond the present moment. Understanding this interconnectedness helps us appreciate the profound impact our behavior has on the world and motivates us to act responsibly and compassionately. Every action we take creates a ripple effect, influencing not only our own life but also the lives of those around us. Acts of kindness and generosity can inspire others to behave similarly, fostering a community of positivity and support. For instance, when we help a neighbor or volunteer in our community, we set a positive example that can encourage others to do the same. This chain reaction of good deeds can significantly improve the collective well-being of our community. Conversely, negative actions and harmful behaviors also have a ripple effect. Speaking harsh words or engaging in deceit can sow discord and mistrust, affecting relationships and creating a negative atmosphere. The consequences of these actions can extend far beyond the immediate moment, potentially leading to long-term conflicts and misunderstandings. This illustrates the importance of mindful and considerate behavior, as our actions can have lasting impacts. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more insights on spiritual awakening and ancient wisdom. Until next time, stay blessed and keep shining your light.